Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at the proposed minimum requirement to play Arc Raiders, which go as follow i5 6600K or MD Ryzen 5 1600, 12GB 12 of RAM, the GTX 1050Ti or MD RX 580 or the Intel Arc A380. And we don't have any target, so we're going to guess it's at 1080p, low settings, and it's probably going to need upscaling to be able to reach 30 FPS. That's my guess. Welcome to Response PC. I'm Dunk. Let's game on. Quick disclaimer, I'm going to play under Windows 11 and using preset, low, medium, high, whatever. You can always tweak all the settings in the graphic settings, but for the purpose of this video, only preset is going to be used. Also, I won't test any Intel Arc GPU in that video. It will be on the Arc Raider on Intel GPU video. Starting off with the AMD side, we have the Ryzen 5 1600 and the RX 580, the 8GB variant and the not the 2042 SP variant. We are playing at 1080p, the preset low, and we're using FSR AA. We are at native resolution even though we are at FSR, and actually this game is FSR 3 point something. We get the GPU peg at 99%, but we're using 3.7 GB of VRAM out of 8. That means probably the minimum requirement is the RX 584 GB variant. CPU wise, we are in the mid 50s and sometimes climbing to the i70 percentage of its position, which I say it's uh, quite normal. We don't have really a bottleneck here. For the RAM, we're using 13 to 14 gigabyte of RAM. So the 12 gigabyte minimum seems to be not true. Yes, I'm using a 16 gigabyte kit because I don't have a 12 gigabyte kit. I don't even think that exists. Unless you put 3 times 4 gigabyte of RAM, which doesn't make any sense. Frame time and frame graph is super smooth, and all this will give us an average of 65 FPS. It is highly playable, just not the best looking because we are at the preset low. But if you climb the settings to medium, you still over 30 FPS. It's highly playable as long as you keep it as a PVE. But for the AMD side, clearly the RX 580 4GB is not the minimum requirement. The Ryzen 5 1600 don't seem to be the minimum requirement. And 12GB of RAM is not a good option for the minimum requirements. Next up, we're going on Intel CPU and Nvidia GPU. For the Intel, I went with the i5-6500 because I don't have the i5-6600K. The closest I have on the 6th gen is the i5-65, which both are 4 core 4 thread, but the 6600K have a higher clock speed. And theoretically, the 6600K is only 14% more performance than the 65. But we were under a CPU bottleneck and the GPU was... Uh, Hovering between 70 to 90 percent of its position using 3.6 gigabyte of VRAM out of 4, but the CPU peg at 100 percent most of the time, making FPS really unstable. Was hovering between 76 FPS to 30 FPS. This is really unplayable. You suddenly go fast and smooth, and suddenly you lag and uh, stuttery. Yes, I was still at 1080p, the low presets and since there's no DLSS for this gen of uh, NVIDIA it was the default uh, TUUA, TAAU, something like that to give us an average between 30 and 70 depending on when the CPU decide to bottleneck or not. And finally for the RAM we were using 13 GB of RAM out of 16 because I don't have a 12 GB kit but again the minimum requirement says 12 we over 12. I also decided to do a quick test. I have the i5-7600K, so one jet over the i5-6600K, which is supposedly only 5% higher performance than the 6600K, and it's still a 4 core 4 thread CPU, but I have a higher clock speed than the i5-6600K. Still paired with the GTX 1050 Ti and 16GB of RAM, and playing at 1080p, low presets, and TAAU. Now the higher clock speed did help a lot, but we're still under a CPU bottleneck. The CPU is pegged almost all the time at 100%, sometimes dropping in the mid 90s, but we are bottlenecking the GPU, which were a bit higher in the utilization, being more often in the i80s to the mid 90s. Still using 3.2 to 3.4 gigabyte of VRAM out of 4, which is okay. The RAM was in a 12.4 to 13 gigabyte of RAM, which is over what the minimum requirement says. And the frame time frame graph was spiky. Just a proof 
more that the, we have a CPU bottleneck. At least our FPS were more stable. We get an average of 62 FPS, gaining almost to 80 FPS time to times and dropping to the high 40s here and there. But it wasn't that smooth and I won't really consider that uh, playable. So what did we learn for the proposed minimum requirement? The version 5.600 seems to be fine. The RX 580 4GB variant should be enough. The Intel i5-6600K, even not tested, it's clearly underpowered and will be bottleneck. The GTX 1050 Ti seems plenty powerful to play this game, if you have the 4GB variant, not the 2. And like I said, we didn't test any Intel Arc GPU because a video coming up with Intel Arc with Arc Raider. Oh, and I forgot, 12GB of RAM is a bit old of what the game should be as the minimum requirement. 16 is more likely the best way to go. And I don't know anyone who can make up a 12 gigabit kit to play this game. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.